King's Math School admission test, scene one, take one. Hi, I'm Q. Uh, I'm a year 13 student at King's Math School. King's Math School is a specialist math school. I remember when I did the admissions test and I really wish that there was someone who could have helped me beforehand and given me some tips to approach the test. During the admissions test, I felt really... Oh, wait. Okay, wait, no. When I did the admissions test, I felt really excited, but it was also very strange because it's focused much more on problem solving than actually answering the question and getting the correct answer. So in the test paper, there's 18 questions. You're given two hours to solve these 18 questions. So you can take your time to solve any of these problems and really enjoy the process of solving them. I definitely couldn't answer all of the questions. I don't think it's actually even expected. So what I'm going to do now is show you an example question from an admissions test. But keep in mind that you won't be doing it on a huge piece of brown paper like I am. You'll be doing it on lined paper in the admissions test. So here we have a diagram. It is an irregular pentagon. Side length here, 9, 3, 13. And this length here is 10. What we want to find out is this length here, which is length S. In questions like these, these geometry questions, one of the best ways that you can sort of approach it is to go and compare sides. Uh, so for example, with this one right here, you can compare this side with this side here. And so this side, whole thing is nine. And if you make a length like this, we can see that this length is 13. Okay. So then what we can ask is, what length is this? Well, since this is this whole segment here is nine, and this segment here is three, we can say that this is nine minus three, which is six centimeters. And so what can we say about this length down here? Well, we know that this is a right angle triangle. And what do we know about right angle triangles? We know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the two smaller lengths here, and c is the hypotenuse. So we knew that one of the smaller lengths is six, and we know that the hypotenuse is 10. So now we can find out what the other smaller side length is. So that's b squared equals 10 squared minus 6 squared, which is 100 minus 36, which is equal to 64. And so b is equal to the square root of 64, which is 8. And so we know that this side length here is 8 centimetres. So what can we do to find s? Well, we know that this length here is also s if we just compare it. And we know that this segment here is eight. And we know the whole is 13. So 13 is equal to eight plus S. And so S is equal to five centimeters. So after the admissions test, I felt actually disappointed in myself because I had expected to answer a lot more questions than I did. But that was mainly because I still thought of it as a sort of a GCSE exam even though it wasn't, it was a lot more problem solving, a lot different to the normal tests that you do in school. Since I've started King's Math School, it's been a great experience. You have a school full of people just like you. You have gamers, you have bookworms, you have, you know, people who do art, people who crochet for some reason, right? There's so many different types of people. It's so diverse. The whiteboards are great as well. You can ask a random person in the school to help you on a problem. If you're thinking about doing the admissions test for King's Math School, just go ahead and do it. You have nothing to lose. It's going to be a great time anyways, and you get to test your problem solving skills. Thank you.